Let's examine a reaction of oxidative cleavage, but using specifically ozone. Ozonolysis is what this will be. This is the reaction for the video, but very quickly, just examine what I have here. CH3, CH double bond, CH2. An alkene functionality will be cleaved oxidatively using ozone. It will look specifically for this alkene and break it into and generate carbonyls. CH3, CH, and I'll have a double bond O here. Here's my item coming from here, an aldehyde. From here, obviously, you're going to have C double bond O and then H and H, another aldehyde. But based on what you have around your alkene functionality, you'll have a specific type of a carbonyl compound develop, either an aldehyde or a ketone, but based on what you have. So let's examine here what we have here at the very top. In this particular case, we are looking here at a cyclopentene ring, five cyclic, five carbon cyclic, but I also have an alkene here. The ozone and CH2Cl2 are step one. Step two is a reduction, zinc and acetic acid. It's an oxidative cleavage because your ozone will incorporate into your compound to be cleaved by putting in oxygen into that molecule and generating carbonyls. When I'm doing the cleavage, I'm looking for alkenes. This will cleave and this here will cleave. When I cleave this top part, you know you're going to generate here an aldehyde and it will look like this. This is the item coming from CH2. Then the item over here will generate a carbonyl and it looks like this. Draw the rest of the molecule to the best of your ability and you see it. Here I'm going to cleave. I will generate here a aldehyde because when you're looking at this, you know you'd have an imaginary or hidden hydrogen here. That's coming here at the bottom end. Here you know you're going to generate a ketone. You have the CHC, then you have a carbon here. And this carbon of your alkene will generate a carbonyl. And this is exactly what it is. And here's your ketone. I've generated here as my end results of this oxidative cleavage using ozone. This item right here, formaldehyde, then I have this. I have a ketone here, I have a ketone here, and I have aldehyde here. And you're looking at it. The zinc over here would have just helped reduce any excess oxygen tacked onto this molecule. Any excess oxygen atoms would be removed. But it is indeed an oxidative cleavage because you are incorporating oxygen into your product. And you see the oxygen here. There's no oxygen, but here you see it. The, ex -oxygen, the excess oxygen atoms would have been removed by this step. But this right here would be the end result.